Well, here is that second host Yukon that we have in. This one is available uh, for sale. It is not an order out unit. It's not for a customer just yet. I mean, it is, but no one's bought it. But it is here and available. So start on the outside as always. Nice happy jacks to get them up and down. Nice big uh, front molded fiberglass cap. Whole stickers on it. Slide out topper awnings, of course. Um, you do get a seven way in here. Um, I know Lance kind of does their own little plug system, which is what it is. Uh, we got them in here pretty tight. Down below, nice big area um, for storage. This is prepped um, or can be equipped with a generator. I do have a great ha handle pull right here, outdoor shower. This is for turning on that uh, Happy Jack system we talked about, and this is your coax system for exterior connections. You do get a wireless uh, jack system there, or uh, there's a wired one for emergency workarounds. This one right here has the two six volt AGM batteries. Well, not AGM, they would be uh, traditional golf cart type six volt batteries. I stand corrected. Nice big extension drawer here. Um, slides on out if you kind of get down in here. This is kind of what the rest of this looks like. You got all your uh, mechanicals. I suppose if uh, you had to do some work, you could get in here fairly easy. Do what you need to do. Got all your water connections. There's power here, of course. So everything's fairly easily and acceptable, accessible. Um, if you do need to, for some reason, um, use this thing in uh, freezing temperatures. There is a uh, blower fan on the inside to blow warm air into the basement to help circulate everything. Uh, two 30 pound propanes in here, just as it should be. Nice aluminum entry stairs. Nice white awning arms and white awning now. So uh, I'm a fan of that. So like we got traditional water heaters and your furnace there, of course, exterior speakers, nice aluminum entry way stairs, all your controls, battery disconnects are hanging out right there. That's just a little throw piece of carpeting that uh, we've got in here. Keep your uh, feet from making this thing all muddy. But this is what this bad boy looks like. Uh, I'm going to point out that this one does not have uh, the synthetic leather in it. I know it's a very, very popular option. I know most people go with it. Everyone wants to know what the cloth looks like. This is probably about as close of a look as you're going to get. Not bad. Thicker stitches. It's not real thin. This backing area is actually new. The last one I just did didn't have this. So, pretty straightforward. There is some extra space on either side, so... If you ever wanted to change that out, you can. Nice uh, storage up top, back below it, back above it. Uh, right in here in the middle, there is a table hookup. So if you wanted to put your table right here, um, you can. You can order this with two tables if need be. Essentially, this table right here can be moved and brought over that way. And of course, this thing moves and slides around infinitely adjustable um, this one's got a second seating area here of course kind of show you what the stitches look like everyone's always curious so I want to make sure I get a good shot of that and again it's not rough it's not soft it's just kind of somewhere in between so if you guys do decide to option it with it that is uh, kind of how it's gonna look kind of feels like well, it's like a regular non-leather couch. I guess that's a terrible des description being as that's what it is, but that's what it is. This one's got a fireplace hanging out in front. I'm literally just sitting down in this uh, reclining chair. Um, yes, the chair tops or the foot flops up and you can kind of sit down and relax. Um, flip up countertop over there. You do have the big vent exhaust fan right there above your head. Got some hanging storage, just some more storage. Again, the flip up, you do get power down below once again, water heater controls, 
more storage area. You can kind of see your water heater down there. So this one was optioned without an oven. So we get two drawers down here. That's your controller for your air conditioner. Your other controllers, television, stereo, fireplace, that kind of thing. Three burner stove. This is the Dometic. Looks like we uh, have a convection microwave in here. Uh, being as you don't have an oven, it gives you many, many more options to have a convection. You can cook a pizza in there. It pretty much does anything you need it to do. Plus, it doesn't have that uh, heat aspect as your traditional oven would. Um, fully adjustable shelves in the pantry here. You can kind of see how you'd move them around. Kind of make them uh, to your own fitting. If you've got some things and items that you want to keep in here that are taller or shorter. Kind of gives you uh, some options. This is for the bedroom. Inverted TV. For the bedroom area, plug in, coax. Uh, speaking of which, this one does have the accordion privacy door. I'll back up one second and show you that we do have a traditional gas electric fridge and freezer. So a traditional camper one. Queen size bed. Looks like we got 110 power up in the front. They did not choose to add the 12 volt, which is fine. Reading lights, your escape hatch here. And again, screen on this side and a blackout shade on that side so it'll give you some options there this is a nice mirrored cabinet inside i'm gonna turn this light on so you can kind of hopefully see the whole distance down you've got side hanging and then there's a little shelf at the end so that will give you some options there is a light switch for the bedroom here it will turn that main light on and off television hanging spot right there ready to rock and roll um, it does have RCA plugs prepped here for the television in here and the main reason for that is it's so small they kind of figured it didn't matter use them don't use them most people had a streaming television and then you don't have to worry about it too much looks like our sun is coming out and I think uh, this is the most interesting thing I've ever seen out of a host we haven't gotten to this one to fix it but their uh, inverter button is installed upside down so kind of amusing we will obviously take care of it on our end but i don't think i've ever seen them do that before usb parts radio fireplace uh, bathroom area porcelain potty open it up we've got winterization fluid in it nice sink down below you've got a tp roll holder more storage and then of course your medicine cabinet uh, there is an exhaust vent fan in the bathroom so you can kind of pop that open get the humidity out um, there is a magnetic door here towel holders towel rack whatever you want to call it uh, plenty of space in this shower again i'm six foot 275 so not a small guy by any means but we're we're doing plenty fine Put the faucet on there you'd have plenty of room i mean this is a huge bathroom for a truck camper so you can't complain about any of that you do have a little storage spot over here shell that is what a host camper is all about i will jump back towards the bedroom area in just a second and kind of show you what sets this apart from all the other campers that i look at truck camper wise at least plenty of space in the main room you can have someone or two people hanging down on the recliners, someone at the kitchen. You can get to the bathroom. you got some privacy. Um, the big thing with a host camper and the floors is, well, the slide outs. They're all the way up on the top of the floor and everything slides out to make it very, very wide. It's because the floor is over the top of the rails of your truck bed, which gives you full extension on the slides, which of course means your climb into the bedroom is a lot lower. Again, this is below waist height. This here, my knees right there. I mean, you've got another couple inches to get up there. So you don't have that, you know, big long climb into the bedroom as, uh, you do get on most other truck campers so that's kind of one of the ways 
you get all of this extra space. And again, I left the windows open for a reason. Kind of bring some of the natural light in here. It does play tricks with my camera sometimes, so hopefully it all worked. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please shoot me an email. Thanks for watching.